make you friends let me talk about what type of world in the present century you will witness that is 21st century let us jointly work out with the interaction you know the world in the 21st century will be a knowledge based society with multiple opportunities i was studying a book the name of the book was empires of the mind it will be in your library empires of the mind by dennis wakey this book uh, gives what type of new world which we are facing now what was yesterday and what is today i have no i have modified certain points of the other to suit our conditions today's talk i have also added a third line which is pertinent to the action required by the management institutions and technical institutions it specially says that what worked yesterday won't work today what worked yesterday won't work today now it goes like that there are 10 points first one yesterday natural resources defy power as you know today it is not important natural resources but knowledge is power today knowledge is power institution will be the power house for knowledge like iit may be a power house for the knowledge second one yesterday hierarchy was the model today today synergy is the mandate institution would be enabler of intersection of the multiple faculties towards mission goals yesterday third point yesterday leaders commanded and control they were commanders leaders were commanders technical or administrative or managerial or uh, or industrial yesterday leaders commanded and control today leaders empower and coach they become coach at the empower that means potential leaders will be empowered through exposure of the needs of the sustainable development that that will be their too fourth point yesterday shareholders came first today customers come first that means education to inculcate sensitivity to the user needs yesterday employees to quarter and uh, today teams make decision institution can inject the team spirit yesterday seniority signifies status everything about seniority today creativity drives status creativity over creative he takes over the organization and the nation creativity drives the status institution is the breeding environment for creativity yesterday production determined the availability today competitiveness is the key competitiveness is powered by research and the university are like iit has to have the motto of teaching research teaching Re teaching research teaching best teaching comes out of a best research best research comes out of best teaching now yesterday value was extra today value is everything value based education has to be introduced as a part of the curriculum at least for one hour every week even technical institutions yesterday everyone was a competitor today everyone is a customer and yesterday uh, during education industrial and entrepreneurship training is essential last point yesterday profits were earned through expediency today work with integrity and succeeded with integrity now friends will you repeat it me what i'm saying will you repeat yes i will i will work with integrity and succeed with integrity tough problem is it not is it not are you do it you will do it all of you will do it then you have to do a job for me okay today i will give you what full day my email is apj at the rate of abdulkalam.com okay apj at the rate of you know my email otherwise you go to my website www.abdulkalam.com now you are going to give me uh, five areas people according to you what person you living person uh, who has worked with integrity who is working with integrity and succeeding with integrity first one political leader number one okay you have to locate a political leader 
Number two, number two, a industrial chief, public sector or private sector, who is, who is working, uh, working with integrity and succeeding with integrity. Third person, a bureaucrat, the who has, according to you, the bureaucrat of the nation, he has worked with integrity and succeeded with integrity. The fourth person is a social scientist and so, social, uh, that is societal uh, change, change maker. And if you can identify one person, you can write these five guys, okay? Okay? Will you do it? How many of you will do it? All of you will do it? You won't. Otherwise, I'll catch you if you don't do that. <laughs> now, friends, I want to share with you how important one experience, because it happened in the same city long, long ago. You were not even idea form at that time it happened. I want to share with you. It's like this, 1954-57, I was studying in the aeronautical engineering at Madras Institute of Technology, Kuropat. In the third year, I met a professor, Professor Srinivasan. He's a, he's a, he is a Caltech man, aeronautical engineer, and he took classes for us. And uh, the first day itself, we were nine students, uh, different to areas like propulsion, aerodynamic structure, control and guidance, material, uh, all areas, uh, instrumentation. So he gave us a project, a six months project. The project was a preliminary design of a low level attack aircraft. We have to do it six months time. They, all the nine of us jointly work because the aircraft, you know, everything is there. So low level attack aircraft you have to design. So we started designing, and those days we did, you guys are now blessed with the computer, we did have computer, we used slide rules, and uh, then a drawing board, we didn't slide, this computer was not there, we used the drawing board and slide rule, our tools, apart from the library. So we were working hard, but we were not in a position to assemble all database, uh, so that we can realize a yeah, yeah, design in the drawing board and also yeah, a document of a design document. Fifth month came in, we were struggling, we were working hard of course and one day my teacher, Professor Srinivasan, Sunday, he was going for a tennis morning, he entered into my lab and saw and all of us uh, trying to do something but he saw and he saw me, he said, Kalam, uh, you are a hopeless uh, status now. Uh, I, I am not happy with your performance of uh, a preliminary design of a low-level attack aircraft. Your team, since you are the leader, uh, you are not done a good job. Your scholarship will be terminated if you don't do it uh, in a one month's time. So you give one month's time. So you have a very bad certificate on that day. He's a tough professor. I hope you don't have such tough professors. Uh, so, <laughs> so he have, uh, we worked hard. Of course, our fellow Sai, it's my job to bring all of them together. And we did, uh, we did our best. And uh, yeah, shape, uh, some shape, we took the design, low level attack aircraft, some calculation we did, some report we prepared. Third week, fourth week, we are almost, we are uh, ready uh, stage. Then again, my professor landed in our laboratory and saw he was very happy. And uh, you guys, I gave a tough uh, uh, target you have done. And he took us to his home, he gave a Madras coffee. And uh, certificate, he gave us a good job you guys have done. But what is important here is, it's not, uh, uh, that project what we are doing, the number of people doing important is what I learned on that day, our team learned was how to do a system design, how to do a system integration, how to do a system management. You know, when you are studying in the, in the, in the, like, uh, in the, in the class and you are getting ready for your degree, you are doing, you are becoming a system designer and system integrator, system manager. This experience tomorrow when you go out of IIT Madras, wherever you go, they will not ask which branch you belong to. They will ask, 
can you make a product that product will have multi technologies when i 